I am an Asian. What kind of surgery will fix my sudden dropped eyelid? I am an Asian in my late 30s. I have natural double eyelids, not surgery created ones. But one year ago, the eyelid of my right eye suddenly dropped without any specific reasons. My questions are first, any medical conditions will cause it? Second, if I want to fix it, what kind of plastic surgery will help? Third, as for plastic surgeons, will those specialized in Asians do a better job in my case? I attached a photo here for reference. Sorry, my left eye looked puffy. Thanks. Thank you for your question. You state in your question with the photo submitted that you are someone who is in your late 30s, you had natural double eyelids without surgery, and that you state that approximately a year ago the right eye drooped and you would like, <laughs> you'd like to fix it. And so your, your question is, how do you do it? And should you go to someone who specializes in Asian eyelid surgery? Well, I can certainly give you um, my perspective and suggestions based on the photo you submitted. I'm a board-certified cosmetic surgeon and fellowship-trained oculofacial plastic and reconstructive surgeon practicing in Manhattan and Long Island for over 20 years and I specialize in Asian eyelid surgery. So I can certainly give you um, a, a, an idea of what you've experienced, how I would uh, suggest considering repair, and of course my opinion about um, specialization. So to begin with, to understand what differentiates those who have the crease and those who don't have the crease has to do with a connection. And the connection is an anatomic connection between a muscle called the levator muscle and the skin. So the Asians, uh, people of a uh, who are Asian who have a crease have a more defined connection between the skin and the levator muscle. So for someone like yourself, which was, it was naturally occurring, most likely what's occurred is that that connection has gotten a little bit weakened. And that resulted in the fold detaching and rolling over. So if you want to make the eyes more symmetrical, you have essentially two options. One is called an incisional blepharoplasty, and the other is called a non-incisional um, Asian blepharoplasty. S if you want to achieve symmetry, then most likely you're not interested in doing anything to um, a a tighten the skin in a way so that the crease looks more sharp and defined. But in, in that scenario, you can probably benefit from a non-incisional approach. A non-incisional approach basically means what we're doing is we're entering the skin at, at critical points along the natural crease that we want to develop. And we pass stitches in a way through the skin and engage the muscle in a way that creates kind of a connection. And those connections lets the skin fold in and creates the effect of a crease. Now, of course, with the absence of a physical exam, it's a little bit difficult to make be more definitive. But basically, the disti distinction I make between making the decision between an incisional versus a non-incisional has to do with um, excess skin and, in some cases, excess fat. So, with that being said, I would recommend you meet with the doctor. And I would say that, as a specialist myself, that I do have a bias that there are th we're, we're, all, we're all capable. Every doctor who, who is properly trained is capable of doing a lot of things. But with time, we all identify things that we're very, very good at and do a lot or focus on. And there are things that, that are maybe not as good at because you haven't put in the same amount of time. So I feel that specialization, and from my experience of 20 years in practice, my comfort and familiarity with Asian eyelid surgery is going to be greater than someone who doesn't do Asian eyelid surgery with consistent frequency and focus. And that's just a matter of putting in the time. It has nothing to do with one doctor being smarter than another. So I would say that you, you should meet with doctors who do specialize in Asian eyelid surgery, learn about the approach, 
in our practice, when we do this surgery, we do this under local anesthesia with light sedation. And there are times we'll actually have the patient open their eyes and look at the crease and see how it folds in just to make sure. And this way, our patients not only uh, have a good, I have a good sense of how they'll do after the procedure, but they also don't rec have to recover from general anesthesia. And of course, there's no, no pain or discomfort during that process. So I would recommend you meet with doctors, again, doctors who specialize in Asian eyelid surgery, learn about your options, and move forward. But I think that this, this whole concept should hopefully make more sense now that you understand why the eyelid probably is the way it is uh, that, and what occurred about a year ago. So I hope that was helpful. I wish you the best of luck. And thank you for your question.